Ooh, that was weird. Did you see that? Yeah, like, it's just, no it's more secrets. Let's try it again. No more secrets, Marty. Ugh, I hit my head putting something into the car. So, Did you get a bump? Oh, well, you yeah. have something on your head. It's from the car. Part of the car <laughs> on my head. That's how hard, that's how hard headed I am that cars break when they hit my head. Uh, so, no more secrets, Marty. That's from a movie called Sneakers. And I've exposed a lot of the federal government secrets already on the YouTube channel. And I've muted everything because 99% of my accuracy rate was good. But when you're so good, you're going to hurt the other 150 million people that hate Donald Trump by your videos. Because essentially, it just pretty much looks like... I just scripted the whole thing and uh, so uh, right now my name is Dan Reeses I'm a federal agent I'm very proud to be a federal agent and uh, this is my assistant Jamie Resnick she has been with me for almost six years and witnessed absolutely everything that I talk about on YouTube other than the events that happened beforehand so I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of funny stories but maybe not this video so, um, was I the CEO of Pierce Bainbridge? Or yes. am still? Yes. Do I own 50% of Pierce Bainbridge? Yes. Excellent. Now, was Tulsi Gabbard ever a client of mine? Yes. So, what you're saying to me is that my f current client, who obviously I can't talk about because attorney-client privilege, and even though I'm not an attorney, I still adhere to the same principles. And while the whole country turned its back on her, me and my team stepped in and defended her in not one but two lawsuits that basically were at the heart of her fight to restore her name because she went against the democratic agenda. She became a laughing stock. She was not reelected, I believe, or maybe she was. I think she like. I, I think she left she was government. Like Change parties or something. I don't know. There was like a whole thing. And four years later, she's about to be nominated to be the Director of Intelligence for the United States of America. So if you're my enemy right now, I would not be sleeping right now. Because, unfortunately, not only do I not want anything from Tulsi, all I want is for her to do her job. Because I've already proven myself to her through... The work that John Pierce did and the rest of the attorneys but I've already shown my support and the Attorney General is a very controversial young man named Matt Gates who is exactly my age and he's been tortured for the last four years by the same judges and lawyers and politicians that have been torturing me all because of my involvement with, with the Republican Party since I Daniel M. Reeses personally ended the riots through my work as the CEO of Pierce Bainbridge to run a narrative that the whole country bought into and there has been a single race riot since. Do you understand so far? Yeah. So let me get this straight. You're telling me, Jamie, that I just spent four years telling the entire country what's about to happen and it actually all happened mm -hmm. and I can't believe it. Yeah, that's the truth. The truth is it hasn't hit me yet. I was going to say, it hasn't sunk in yet. No, it hasn't sunk in yet because I did it so flawlessly and so fast. And I was under so much pain and stress. And every single day I get ridiculed and I do not get the credit. But I didn't sign up for that. I signed up to do my job. And I did it very well and I'm very proud of it. And I wish my kids were old enough to see just how hard you and I both worked at making sure that the narrative for the American people is spun perfectly. The comeback story of a lifetime. And the goal was to really have people find government sexy again, make it cool, like make bowling cool, make government cool. And in a world of social media and in instant communication, it is very easy to turn politicians into celebrities and characters in order to give the humans the entertainment that they need to follow the narrative known as the US government. It is one of the most fascinating things in the entire world because it's really the only narrative that affects us as human beings. But we as a society became so transfixed on money and celebrities and cooking 
channel crap or whatever people watch on Instagram and TikTok that we lost complete focus that we as citizens owe a right to the government to keep it in check. And that's what this is all about, checks and balances. Because I, Daniel M. Reeses, work for something called the Office of the President of the United States, which is a lifetime appointment. So to me, as I see the entire changing of the guards, it's exhausting because we just changed the guards four years ago. So we're changing everything all over again. And that's why the core 400, that run Project Ghost, will never change because we took a lifetime oath to protect the integrity. And that's one of the reasons why I really didn't say too many bad things about Joe Biden, other than the fact that I thought he was senile and I thought that it was cruel and unusual punishment to bring him out and have him reading lines. And clearly I was right about that. I also said that Kamala Harris is a negative representation of the hardworking black woman because she's neither hardworking nor black. And the reason why I say that is because her entire her entire voting base was directly related to not being Donald Trump and being a black woman which is really sexist because it really should be skill versus skill who can be better at commanding the media and running the country Trump or Harris and the truth is nobody believed that Harris had any control over anything because she was a puppet to even her own inner team and that was obvious by the constant changing of her positions. And say what you will about Donald Trump, but his consistency allows this country to understand that what you're signed up for is the show of a lifetime. And I just want two months break. I'm completely exhausted. Everyone believes that I don't work or do anything, even though that my stories and narratives have paved the way for this country being in full balance right now, where everybody is unhappy except the people who won <laughs> and that's really what america is all about america is about history being written by the winners america is about dominating america is about winning the popular vote and it's about changing the minds of human beings in our timeline it is not about the 60s and 70s where a bunch of these losers kept talking about change and they didn't do anything with it and this constant revolution that never happened what what were they revolting against every one of them became a taxpayer and yuppie and money got to a lot of people and the algorithm which is really a singularity that is designed to control the minds of 300 million americans 7.8 billion of human beings almost won but due to the help of a guy named elon musk so that i just randomly happened to be mentioning as my partner at the top me i'm dan reese's i'm an absolute nobody i have nothing but a quarter of a billion dollars in claims that a bunch of lawyers banks bankers and politicians as well as obviously the u.s government owes me on a personal level because of the fraud that was committed against me so unless i like somehow know the director of intelligence and the attorney general of the united states i pretty much stand no chance on this <laughs> damn i feel really bad i got this uh, stalker that sends me emails that really has no idea what just happened and the uh gravity of what will happen to this human being because i know exactly who they are <laughs> and all i have to do is keep making these videos and uh, this person keeps falling into this trap over yeah. and over and over again. And it's really remarkable how sloppy and direct and perfect everyone has acted towards me because it was very simple. I light myself on fire, not on purpose, but because it's part of a magic trick. And rather than people coming to my aid and assisting me by being a victim of a crime, Every human being that I have turned to has taken advantage of what I have done. And they've been able to justify it based on the content of this YouTube channel. They failed at you for being on fire. They failed. They failed. Yeah. Now, everyone showed, showed their true colors. Because when the magic trick started, everyone was given a bucket of water when they sat down. So while I was on fire the whole time, every single person had a bucket of water. There's only one thing. If you use your bucket of water to pour me out, you're asked to leave the show. So you can't watch me on fire, and you can't see what happens. And not a single person put me out. So, it's a lot to think about, you okay? Yeah. 
All right, so this video and the other ones, I wanted you to do me a favor and publish it. And I really wanna tell about my bowling idea, which will revolutionize the world, but I'm gonna make government cool. I'm gonna make bowling cool. I'm gonna do exactly what I said. The only thing I've failed at mathematically in the timeline is being able to accurately predict the complete collapse of digital currency like Bitcoin, which is coming very soon. So if you have a chance to short this currency and you should choose to do so, please don't take my advice. But when you, <laughs> when you don't do it and you find yourself in a world where Donald Trump is the president, his most powerful allies are now the people that I have personal relationships with, and you find yourself as someone who committed a crime against me, please don't be surprised if you find yourself doing years in federal prison and are extremely upset at the ramifications of your actions. That's not my fault, is it? Did I make people commit crimes against me? No. That would be really remarkable. And that would be some real magic. Anyways, uh, on that note, I, I guess, you know, you guys have nothing to worry about. Uh, Trank, Galloway, <laughs> Sedono, every judge, Fred Davies, Bob Menendez, you got nothing to worry about. You, you have a great chance at your appeal. I am positive <laughs> that your wife did not turn state's evidence right now. And um, you 100% will be exonerated for all those m misunderstandings, these misunderstandings of the gold bars and the cash and the recorded conversations of you. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, um, being the most corrupt politician in American history and destroying my real estate portfolio.